out. You'll want to speak with my husband. Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you carry. Alas. I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septum of it honestly. I can tell. It's all about sizing up your mark, lass. The way they walk, what they're wearing. It's a dead giveaway. Of course. Say, how are you going to sell all those fish before they spoil? Oh, but that's where you're wrong, lass. Wealth is my business. Maybe you'd like a taste. A fairest prices and the highest quality in Skyrim. I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. Will we be dining together this evening Simple. After my work I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under a stamp. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. Do you want me to hold your hand as well? You're going to have to sneak over to Medesi's stall and use your lockpick on the strongbox. Then, when you have the ring, you pickpocket Branche and leave it behind. Good. Wait until I start the distraction, then show me what you're made of. Everyone, everyone, gather up. I have something amazing to show you that demands your attention. Branche. This is a rare opportunity, and I wouldn't want you to get left out. That's what you said about the... Turned out to be crushed nerve root mixed with water. Well, that was a simple misunderstanding. But this item is the real thing. Vegetables, bloods and lasses. I give you Falma blood elixir. Oh come on. Respect for the laws of this land. It is time to face the Jarl's justice. Imagine the power that smart woman. Now come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. Visited you. Beautiful baubles and gleaming 
some gemstones over here. I guess... I guess I expected too much from you. I didn't think you'd get pinched. Can't say I'm surprised with the way things have been going around here. Nah. My organization's been having a run of bad luck. But I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. Even though you fouled up the job, I still think you've got the spark I'm looking for. There's plenty of gold out there for the taking, if you're up to the challenge. All right then, let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Riften, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you've really got what it takes. Legendary Argonian craftsmanship. What was that? Aha! Your aim draws need. quite like that.
never should have come here. Huh. I suppose I can work with your face. After all, the sculptor cannot always choose the finest clay. I assumed you were here to see me about your face. To have it sculpted into something more artful than nature has bestowed upon you. So, are you here as a client? Shall I remake your face? Indeed. It is no small thing to submit yourself to the flesh sculptor's knife. I have not always been a ragged beggar. I learned my art from the masters of the art of flesh sculpture. I studied with the faculty of chirurgeons and cloud rest. I walked with the hollow-faced men of Notohogra for three years. I count the nobility of both the Empire and the Dominion among my clients. And yet, I have fallen so low that I must justify myself to a wanderer in the sewers of this backwater of the world. All right, then. I'm busy. Well, well. Color me impressed, lass. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite the prize. So, now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Kirava, Percy Honeyhand, and Helga. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Good. If you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Now get going. Helga is a devout follower of Debella and dotes over the statue to the divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage, and she'll cave. Helga is a devout follower of Debella and dotes over the statue to the divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage, and she'll cave. He's as pig headed a man as you'll ever find. The key is that ugly dwarven urn in his shop. Smash that thing to bits and he'll change his attitude. Kirava's stubborn, but she's got a soft spot for family. Talk to Tal and Jay at the B and Barb, and see if you can get something out of him. They're well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. I'll be here when you're done. Come back later, but I may have some work for you. Should have come here. Sure, pick on 
You want something from me? It You're looking for conversation. The flagon isn't the place. Looking to stay alive? Why take a chance? All meat guaranteed, clean and free from rock joints. What do you want? I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. In Black Marsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band, but all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. I was hoping you'd offer. I didn't think it was my place to ask such a favor of you. I thank you. With the rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing, she's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. Here for a room or something to drink? Show me some coin. No, and I never will. 
Now get out of my inn. How could you possibly know about... Please, my family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. Very well. Here, take this back to Brynjolf and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. So, can I interest you in anything? Hey? What? Oh, it's one of you people. So Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up himself anymore, eh? What's this message? Petty threats and fist-waving are not going to sway me. You people are all talk. And everyone knows it. You demand payment for protection. And you can't even protect yourselves! Don't fool yourself. It's only a matter of time before you people are run out of Riften. Likewise. Now I have a lot to do. So I'm afraid you'll just have to leave. I can't pay! I can't! Just pay them, Bear. I'm sorry, you're going to have to leave. Tell Brynjolf you'll just have to make do without my coin. If I had it, I'd pay. There's no need to do that. This isn't happening. Stop! That's priceless! Oh my word. No! That... All right, I get it. I'll pay on time from now on. Just don't smash anything else. Here, take your gold. And leave me in peace. My cousin's out fighting dragons. And what do I get? Go. It'll help you. It's you. Please, don't hurt me. Not Lady Debella. No, please, I can't lose her. I get the message. Here, take your gold. I hope you choke on it. I'm telling you, I heard it. Howling. Those werewolf tales are true. Better have coin to pay for your drinks. So, no job's done here. and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The 
telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. What's on your mind? We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Now if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about. Even if you're one of us, you better not make trouble. Welcome to the cozy little family. I'm one of the lookouts for the guild. I watch Delvin's back. I think you better listen to Mercer and Brynjol first. We could talk later. Let me show you the operation. Then you can ask your questions. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. You do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. Claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. So let her prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Grignol will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Oh, yes. Since Grignol assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves' Guild. Welcome to the family, lass. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart mouth wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. That's not how things work around here. The guild depends on an arrangement of influential people to keep things running smoothly. Without them at our backs, we'd be in serious trouble. Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive, but if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners.
Agreed, yo, fight. Let me guess. He just plucked you up the street. So, you're you Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Which way is up? Don't look like much to me. Mm hmm. Even if. I don't care if you're best buddies with the Guildmaster. I'll still smash in your skull. Before if you we try begin, anything. I want to make two things perfectly clear. One, I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Then we understand each other. Good. Now, it's time to get your feet wet. And I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. So you're the new recruit, huh? I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you d I can also provide a few supplies. Sure, how about I get dirged? Look, I... At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make us. Good, then there isn't much more to say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Until next time. Breed your fight. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. I'm not gonna right. sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. Who knows? If you want my opinion, I'd say it's just... You can get out, and while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? since I've seen one of those. What you've got there is a stone of Baron Zaya. Not like that it isn't. The stone was pried off of Baron Zaya's ceremonial crown by a thief in order to cover his tracks. I think there were 24 in all. Most people keep them as a curiosity. Some of the guild members have tried to locate them over the years, but they haven't been successful. Well, until now. Look, I only buy things I can turn around quickly for a profit. And no one wants these stones unless they have the whole set. Tell you what, if you find the rest of them, talk to me again. Otherwise, keep it. Maybe it'll bring you luck. You think you're finished? I've got plenty more where that came from.
What was that? What was that? You can do easily blocked. Worthless mercenaries. I didn't think Maven or Mercer would allow me to get away with this, but I had little choice. I can't. If I do, I may as well cut my own throat. I don't believe you. That's not your way. No. I'm not about to let you ruin everything I've worked so hard for. Is someone there? <laughs>
going to put you down. Here a second. A lot of people are beginning to get impressed with you here, me included. Just wanted to let you know. I'll show you what I know.
If you ever need more practice with the bow, just grab me. Word on the street is Golden Glow's been hit. Good job, lass. Let me take a look at what you found. Arangar sold Golden Glow? What's that idiot thinking? He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. But I'm certain he'll find out. If only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Any idea what that might be? Blast. Well, I'll check my sources and speak to Mercer. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. If it was like that, she wouldn't be asking for you. She'd be calling on the Dark Brotherhood. It's just business. That's between you and Maven, and I prefer to keep it that way. Don't worry about it. Maven's business dealings usually involve quite a bit of gold for her people. <laughs> of course, your pay. <laughs> You're smart as a whip, lass. Keep doing right by us, and there's plenty more where that came from. Got a minute? Wanted to say something. the one. Hmm. You don't look so impressive. Is that confidence I hear? Or is it arrogance? Strange how often they're confused. You have to understand. It's been a long time since Brynjolf sent me anyone I can rely on. Faith. I don't have faith in anyone. All I care about is cause and effect. Did the job get done and was it done correctly? There's no gray area. I hope not. This is an important job. I have a competitor called Hunning Brumidery that I want to put out of business. I also want to know how they managed to get the place up and running so quickly. Head to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun and look for Malus Machius. He'll fill you in on all the details. One more time, in case I wasn't clear. You butcher this job and you will be sorry. Try the venison. It's delicious. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? What am I saying? Of course you do. Lady? Can't a man drink in peace? I'm gonna keep this short, because we've got a lot to do. Haunting Brew's owner, Sabjorn, is about to hold a tasting for White Run's Captain of the Guard, and we're going to poison the mead. No, no, that's the beauty of the whole plan. We're going to get Sabjorn to give it to us. The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Pest poison and mead don't mix well. 
You know what I mean? You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabjorn a helping hand. Once was a hero He's going to give you the poison to use on the pests, but you're also going to dump it into the brewing vat. Maven and I spent weeks planning this. All we need is someone like you to get in there and get it done. Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain and hires someone else to do the dirty work. Oh, you talk and you lie and you drink. Remember, now I think it's Come to chat with an old woman, hmm? Do your good deed for the day. What are you gawking at? Can't you see I have problems here? Are you kidding me? Look at this place. I'm supposed to be holding a tasting of the new hunting brew reserve for the captain of the guard. If he sees the meadery in this state, I'll be ruined. Oh, really? And I don't suppose you'd just do it out of the kindness of your heart, would you? I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done. Well, that's not how I operate, so forget it. My only demand is that these vermin are permanently eliminated before my reputation is completely destroyed. I bought some poison. I was going to have my lazy good-for-nothing assistant Malice handle it, but he seems to have vanished. If you plant this in the vermin's nest, it should stop them from ever coming back. Don't come back until every one of those things are dead. Now I've got to clean up this mess.
Was something we discussed unclear? Well, it's about time. I had to stall the captain until you were finished. You'll just have to wait until after the captain's finished. I suppose you can wait around if you must. Well, Sabjorn, now that you've taken care of your little pest problem, how about I get a taste of some of your mead? Help yourself, my lord. It's my finest brew yet. I call it Hunting Brew Reserve. I think you'll find it quite pleasing to your palate. Oh, come now. This is mead, not some wine to be sipped and savored. By the eight. What... what's in this? I... I don't know. What's wrong? You assured me this place was clean. I'll see... see to it that you remain in irons for the rest of your days. No, please. I don't understand. Silence, idiot. I should have known better to trust this place after it's been riddled with filth. I beg you, please. This is not what it seems. You. You're in charge here until I can sort this all out. It will be my pleasure. And you. You're coming with me to Dragon's Reach. We'll see how quickly your memory clears in the city's prisons. Now, move. Look, I assure you this is all just a huge misunderstanding. I said move. Farewell, Sabjorn. I don't think that could have gone any better. So, Maven wants to hunt down Sabjorn's private partner, huh? You're welcome to take a look around Sabjorn's office. He keeps most of his papers stashed in his desk. Here, this should help. I thought it would be better to leave some of the details out of our previous discussion. Didn't want to risk you walking away from the job. Besides, you've done Maven a favor getting rid of him, and saved me from wasting coin hiring someone else to do it later. Start changing it over to the Blackbriar Meadery West as soon as possible. That was Maven's part of the deal. She's put me in charge of keeping the mead flowing, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. If you're in the area, and you ever need anything fenced, you just let me know. Remember to put in a good word with Maven for me. that worked. I can't believe that worked. Can't believe that worked.
I trust you have good news for me? This doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabion's partner is this odd little symbol. Well, whoever this mysterious marking represents, they'll regret starting a war with me. You should bring this information to the Thieves' Guild immediately. There's also the matter of your payment. I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your services. The Blackbriar family has always been allied with the Guild. Our connections with the Empire and within Skyrim make for a perfect fit. I dare say the Guild owes its survival as much to my family as it does to its own people. Out of my way. Something I can help with, or do you just want to Word talk? on the street is that poor Sabjorn has found himself in Whiterun's prison. How unfortunate for him. Exactly. Now you're beginning to see how our little system works. Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. Something important to the guild? Then this is beyond coincidence. First Arangoth, and now Sabjorn. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the Guild. Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry before. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. They're well funded, and they've been able to avoid identification for years. I'm impressed it reached this point. Just don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. Because even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. The parchment you recovered mentions a Gajal lie. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. His real name is Gollum I. Slimy bastard. Gollum I is our inside man at the East Empire Company in Solitude. I'm betting he acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can finger our buyer. Get out there, shake him down, and see what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any questions. Hey, hey. I can't believe Gullum Eyes mixed up in all this. Now. That Argonian couldn't find his tail with both hands. Don't get me wrong, he could scam a beggar out of his last septum, but he's no mastermind. Trouble. <laughs> He's one of the most stubborn lizards I've ever met. You have your work cut out for you. You're going to have to buy him off. It's the only way to get his attention. If that fails, follow him and see what he's up to. If I know Gollum I, he's in way over his head, and you'll be able to use it as leverage. I'm glad to see you're embracing our methods. 
It would be a waste to lose a contact at the East Empire Company before we had the entire story. Just keep on Golemai's tail, and he's bound to step into something he can't scrape off his boot. Good luck in solitude. So, what do we have here? Hmm, let me guess. By your scent, I'd say you were from the Guild. But that can't be true, because I told Mercer I wouldn't deal with them anymore. I don't deal in land or property. Now, if you're looking for goods, you've come to the right person. Oh, wait. Did you say Golden Glow Estate? Uh, my apologies. I'm sorry to say I know very little about that uh, bee farm, was it? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I can't be expected to remember every deal I handle. Hasn't Mercer Frey taught you people anything? You kill me and your only contact with the East Empire Company vanishes. That's not smart for business. I don't care what you promise. If I tell you the buyer's name and word gets around, it could ruin me. Well, now that you mention it, there is something I've been trying to get my hands on. I have a buyer looking for a case of Firebrand wine. There just so happens to be a single case in the Blue Palace. Bring it to me, and we'll talk about Golden Glow Estate. Seville Stentor has a grasp of magical theory that I would never have expected from a human, even a breath. I see you have the wine. Hand it over, and we'll talk. Good. Can't have the buyer getting impatient and looking elsewhere for this, can we? 
Here, take this. I certainly can't use it, but I suppose I need to pay you something for the goods. Not at all. I consider it an investment in prolonging my life. As far as Golden Glow Estate goes, I'll tell you what I know. I was approached by a woman who wanted me to act as the broker for something big. She flashed a bag of gold in my face and said all I had to do was pay Erangoth for the estate. I brought in the coin and walked away with her copy of the deed. Not at all. I tend not to ask too many questions when I'm on the job. I'm sure you understand. However, I did notice she was quite angry, and it was being directed at Mercer Frey. In this business, we rarely deal in names. Our identity comes from how much coin we carry. Look, that's all I know. I never promised you I'd have all the answers. Now, since our transaction is done, I'll be on my way. You're not a thief trying to rob me, right? Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort, they rifted. Might consider joining up myself. If it's arms or armor you need, see Bayran in Castle Dower. Bloody good luck.
staying safe, I hope. Should have come here. Oh, another uh, Just a I'm getting out of here. Uh, no more. Are you wrong? Uh,
thought I heard something. There's no need to do anything rash. This isn't... I see you wish to be reasonable. Perhaps I misjudged you. The name of the person you want is Carlia. Mercer never told you about her? Carlia is the thief responsible for murdering the previous guildmaster, Gallus. Now she's after Mercer. Help? No, no. Look, I didn't even know it was her until after she contacted me. Please, you have to believe me. I don't know. When I asked her where she was going, she just muttered, where the end began. Here, take the Golden Glow estate deed as proof. And when you speak to Mercer, tell him I'm worth more to him alive.
need something? What's on your mind? Did Gullamai give up any information? No, it, it can't be. I haven't heard that name in decades. This is grave news indeed. She's someone I hope to never cross paths with again. Carlia destroyed everything this guild stood for. She murdered my predecessor in cold blood and betrayed the guild. After we discovered what she'd done, we spent months trying to track her down, but she just vanished. Carlia and I were like partners. I went with her on every heist. We watched each other's backs. I know her techniques, her skills. If she kills me, there'll be no one left that could possibly catch her. If only we knew where she was. There's only one place that could be. The place where she murdered Gallus. A ruin called Snowvale Sanctum. We have to go out there before she disappears again. Yes, I'm going with you, and together we're going to kill her. Here's your payment for solitude. Prepare yourself and meet me at the ruins as soon as you can. We can't let her slip through our fingers.